Hi, my name is Björn Feutel. I am the CEO of Next Academy based in Germany. I am an EC Council certified instructor. Uh, I'm doing courses for ethical hacking, penetration testing, and also for some management certifications. Yeah, the CCT actually is an entry level certification. Um, it touches on different topics like offensive security, defensive security, operational security and also forensics um, and yeah apart from from other certifications also gives you insight into some newer areas like uh, cloud, IoT and OT. Um, it not only comes with the courseware it also comes with a handful of labs which will help you to practice and actually sharpen your hand-on skills. Well, I think it was the exam structure. Um, because you don't have only have multiple choice questions, you also have several questions uh, where you first have to um, solve a lab and then you get the answer by completing this assignment actually to answer the multiple choice questions. Um, I've not seen this in recent uh, uh, entry level certifications, um, so this was quite new to me. Um, but it also has an advantage for the student because um, you can show your employer that you have knowledge, not only knowledge of most common tools uh, which are used um, but also to use these to solve basic cybersecurity problems. Well as I stated before um, also the exam consists of some uh, uh, assignments where you will actually face some labs in order to answer some questions so it's good to practice within the lab environment there during the course um, also, uh, you want to prove to your future employer probably that you have some hands-on experience. This will come in handy there as well. Um, not all of the modules uh, contain labs. I mean, uh, 85 labs may seem a bit overwhelming for some of you. Um, well, the longest labs may be last about 2 hours or 2 hours and 15 minutes. Um, and also, if you are not experienced with these kinds of labs, uh, they will provide very good guidance uh, in order to, for you to follow along, even if you are not so on the technical side. Yes, absolutely. If you achieve the CCT, you should be well prepared to also take the Security Plus, for example, uh, without any additional preparation. Um, also, if you would like to go on after the CCT, for example, with the CH, CMD, CSA or CHFI, um, then you will also find some of the materials overlapping there. So this is also a very good preparation for the other exams. Also getting familiar with the, um, with the lab styles also in the uh, exams, for example, uh, will prepare you uh, to actually later on take probably take the CEH practical exam as well. Yes, <clears throat> uh, the CCT is a very good candidate to first uh, make your first step into cybersecurity. Maybe you are would like to transition from another field, for example, from networking, or even if you don't have any prior. Uh, knowledge about cybersecurity, or I have not had, got, got in touch with that, this would be the place to start. Um, the CCT touches on many different aspects of cybersecurity. For example, you will get familiar with some offensive security, defensive security, operational security, and also some forensics uh, touch on some new points like cloud, for example. Um, so Students often ask me, what is the next way or the, the next step for me to pro progress actually in the field? 
and the CCT actually answers this question because um, even if you don't have a clue on where you would like to go um, then um, you, you may follow along the path which has given you the most joy during the course um, and then go from there for example say okay you have taken the offensive or like or liked most the offensive side then you probably then go on to ethical hacker and later on probably to the CPAT. Well um, yeah definitely it would be the word practical because the ratio between course and labs is evenly distributed so you will get around 50% of uh, work within the labs during the course um, yeah and even the extension of the practical work throughout with it or into the exam actually make this a complete practical certification well in my experience it was a labs because the labs were very well designed um, they made up a lot of the course content. You had to get familiar with the labs in order to pass the exam. So um, yeah, these, this would surely be a highlight within the CCT. Yes, I think so. Um, the CCT, as I said earlier, has a lot of labs and uh, this, this is an experience which makes the course even more enjoyable. It's just not dry content, um, it's just practicing and skilling up through these labs. Um, and also, well, it is a prerequisite of pass to, or onto passing the exam, actually, um, because about 16% of the questions uh, will rely on you being able to actually use the tools and solve some basic cybersecurity problems in order to pass the exam. Yes, um, as an instructor, I am um, often asked whether I can share some tips on how to tackle with the exam or how to do go on with the course. Um, well, I decided to share with you three good tips uh, on how to deal with the exam. The first one would be uh, fear of not having enough time. Um, actually, the con exam consists of 60 questions, 10 of them will be lab questions and you have 185 minutes in order to complete these. So you won't be in a hurry, um, so if, if you can do the math, this actually will lead you to 3 minutes uh, answer time per question, so don't fear that you will get uh, in, uh, out of time. Remember, this is an entry-level exam. Um, second point um, is um, on how to prepare for the actual lab questions. Well, this is an easy one. Go through the, or before taking the exam, some probably some days before, go through all the labs again. Um, meaning labs, lab 1 to lab 85 and then you should be well prepared even and don't fear if 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 you can't answer a question on the exam in a certain scenario well you always have the possibility of um, uh, 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 making an educated guess and the third one is actually make use of the review feature um, if you are during the exam unsure about um, a certain answer to a question, you have the possibility of marking the question for review. Um, I would not suggest that you overdo it, for example, marking every question, but actually where you are unsure of the answer, um, mark this question for review and come back to this question later. Um, because during the exam other questions will be uh, asked which may lead to um, the correct answer to the previous question or uh, maybe you can find actually the, um, uh, the right answer within the labs which come up in the scenario questions. Um, 
one more word of caution though um, if you are reviewing your questions uh, don't overthink them it's it's an entry level exam so if you have made a decision and don't have a, a, a good reason to actually change your decision don't change the answer um, well and at the end you only need 70 percent right okay well this is all i can think of um thank you for watching and well yeah all, all the best on your way into cybersecurity. see ya